and a very warm welcome to this Tarot and Oracle card review for Witch's Moon Magic. This is done by Flavia Kate Peters and Barbara McEljohn Free, and it's designed by Kate Osborne. These are a 48 card deck. It comes with an amazing little guidebook. The guidebook is, lists all the cards in alphabetical order. There's a tiny little bit of information about the deck and it also tells you about how to do a one card reading and a nine card reading. So let's first look at some of the card designs. So the back of the card design is this. I love that, witches. I love the witch things. And when we look at the cards, we'll look at the first one. It says Witch's Moon, Magic and Mystery. So each card has a design, the name of the card and a mini interpretation. So we will look at another one. Let's just get the card. This is Moon Journal one. Look at this amazing artwork. And this Moon Journal says Comprehension. And then we will look at another one, which is Fire Moon Magic. She does have a card with earth, air, fire and water. So she covers the four elements. And this one's called Ignition. Look at all that fire element in there. I love this imagery. And we will look at this one, Air Moon Magic. Another one, Imagination. So... To look at this card individually, you would look at the air moon magic. You could have a look at the card. You could meditate with the card. You could just see what images jump out at you, what connects with you, um, what is your intuition drawn to. Do, are you just drawn to the name of the card? Are you drawn to the, the definition or images? And then once you've meditated with that, that's air, moon, magic, you then turn to the book. And this is what I absolutely love about this. There is, each card has a two page writing. There is a beautiful incantation under each card, a little poem, beautiful. This one says, air blows in with all the magic, illuminated sacred sight. Then there is the moon guidance which is beautiful. And then at the bottom, she has a moon magic. Talks about the phase of the moon. So the air moon magic is a new moon. The goddess is the maiden. The power, it's all about new beginnings. It's coming in the east, the dawn, a yellow color, mental aspirations. And then it gives you some rituals. The magic of air in conjunction with the new moon stimulates the power of the mind, telling you to light a yellow candle. And she does this for all the other cards. So you would then get the card, you could do your ritual, you could do the reading, or you can just stand and say, hold the card and say the, say the <coughs> affirmation. Then we've got another one. If we go to the full moon, this one, the full moon magnification. And again, there is the copy of the card. There is the beautiful little poem incantation, which you can recite. There is the definition. And again, she's got the ritual. This one, she says, it's the phase is the fool. The goddess is the mother, gives you the power. And then there's a separate ritual. I just absolutely love this card. It is a little bit witchy woo woo. So if you are into witches work and the pagans and Wiccan, you will absolutely love this. I give this an absolute 10 out of 10 for this deck. I do hope you've enjoyed this Tower and Oracle card review. If you have, don't forget to press like, share and subscribe. Have an amazing day. Take care. Namaste. Bye.